This video will go over how to update Star Wars LU to the latest version as well as what to do about existing save files from previous versions. So the first thing you want to do, as always, is go to Star Wars LU on ModDB, get the latest version right here. In this case, I am using I am updating Star Wars LU to 1.2.4 from the previous version 1.2.3. So uh, open your install location, in this case it's on the desktop, as I have done in the previous tutorial. The X3 Terran Conflict folder is right here, that is where the game is installed. Let's go to our files that we just downloaded from Nod ModDB, the latest version. Just like installing, all you have to do is take the Terran Conflict folder, copy it, and put it in your game's install location. So once these items ask you, you need to replace all the files, obviously. This is a newer version, um, a lot of things have changed. And then the additional files just contain um, non-game related things, so you can delete this folder once you are done copying the Terran Conflict folder. Alright, the files have completely finished. Um, we are done with this now. We can go ahead and delete it. And all we have to do now is open our Terran Conflict in our game's install location and launch the game. You should see on the launcher that the version is the correct number, in this case 1.2.4, right here, and everything should work just fine. Once we are actually in the game, you'll notice that the background has changed. I will do this for every version update so that you can have a clear visual indication that the game has been updated. So the previous version had a red nebula, this one has a blue. So from here, there are three options. You can start a new game, and by starting a new game, all of the features from this version will work perfectly fine and you'll have no problems whatsoever. However, if you want to continue your game, you're free to do that. So you could just pick a game right here and run it. But the there's a lot of um, changes, specifically map changes, that happened in new versions that will not carry over to an existing save. So say I change the background in a sector, I change the sun brightness, I change what a shipyard sells, maybe even some stats on ships themselves. Those changes will not actually carry over to a previous save, even though we're running SWLU 1.2.4, if the save was before that, a lot of those things will remain unchanged. That's because X3 stores a lot of the current state of the universe, including backgrounds and everything, inside the save file itself. So that means if you load an old save, it'll load all of those old things as well. The correct way to um, import an old save into a new version of Star Wars LU and get all of the features is to do what is called a LitCube import and export. So I'm going to go back to the desktop. You're going to have to install LitCube's import and export package. So right here on the LitCube Universe Wiki, the link is right here, you need to go and find the import export package. You need to download this and these are a collection of scripts that will let you uh, import and export game data. So you will be given this installer right here, just like you used to install LitCube's Universe in the first place. Go ahead and run it and all, you, all it's going to do is install the scripts onto your game. So find uh, your install location. I'm not going to do this because I already have it installed in my case, but find your install location. You want to point to the Terran Conflict folder. Hit next and, well, it's not working for me because I'm not setting it, but hit next and it will install the LitCube import and export scripts into your game. So the next step is to go ahead and launch your game and you need to load your old save file. So here we are in an old save file. Now even though this is the latest version of Star Wars LU, a lot of those features haven't carried over because um, a lot of the old things are still stuck in this save. So what LitCube's import and export package lets us do is take all of our assets, so all of our stations, all of our ships, all of our dock agents and everything, and take them and put them in a newly generated map. Now that map will be generated using the current version, so we'll have all of the updates. So the way to do that is to open your LitCube player console. This is done by hit, uh, hitting a hotkey you set at the beginning of the game. It's found in interface within the control settings, and you need to go to export empire. Now if you hit this and nothing happens, that means you haven't actually installed the LitCube import export package, but what we're, we just did that. So 
So I'm going to hit enter now to start it. It's going to ask you if you, all of your marines are aboard your ships, because if not, they won't be saved and they won't be carried over, and then you'll be good to go. I'm not actually going to do it now, because it's the process takes between 8 to like 16 hours in real life time to do. Now your computer will freeze up while this is happening, um, but rest assured that it is working. The reason it takes so long is because Windows Defender, at least on Windows 10, um, has these issues where it generates, I don't know what it does, but it, it uses a lot of CPU power while this is happening and um, just slows down the whole process. So I suggest starting this in the evening and letting it run overnight and that way in the morning you can come back. Um, just whatever you do, do not like crash out of this. I mean, you, if you do, you're going to have to start over. Um, you're not going to end up corrupting your save, but it is a very long process. Now, there are ways to disable Windows Defender through some sketchy register edit things. I'd rather not do that. Uh, if you know what you're doing, then go for it. Litcube has stated that that will reduce the process down to maybe like, say, 18 or 20 minutes down from like 9 to 10 hours. So that is something to keep in mind. So anyway, once that finishes, you'll notice that your game will just be running and it won't be frozen. So if you ever come back and your game is running again and isn't frozen, that means the export has finished. So all you need to do now is quit the game. Now your thing has exported <clears throat> and make sure that uh, you're only using one version uh, installation of Star Wars LU to do this. So all you need to do now to import your empire is start a new game and pick Damiath Import and if all goes well, it will proceed to import all of your assets into a newly generated map. So once you load the Damiath import, it's going to start you in Argon Prime initially, and it's going to run all the scripts. Just don't touch anything until this happens. Just let it run all the scripts. It's going to jump you all over the place, and you'll notice all of your uh, assets coming back. Once the script finishes, there will be a message on the bottom of the screen that says, um, Welcome back, and at that point, you can save your game and your golden. Now an interesting thing about um, the import-export is that you can actually import an old save game from Litcube's universe. So not Star Wars LU, but Litcube's universe, the base LU. You can actually load up a save game in Star Wars LU, export it, and then you can actually import it. So you can take a very accomplished like end game save you have from Litcube's universe, and then you can just import it directly into Star Wars LU. So that will let you jump directly to the end game. Of course, all of your ships are going to be old vanilla ships like this ATF fighter I have right here, but it's an interesting thing you can do. Just a note for compatibility, and that should do it. Now, all of the uh, new features should be here, as you can see with this Venator conveniently here. It has all the new turrets that 1.2.4 added, so we, can, we know that it worked. Alright, and that should do it. Have fun in 1.2.4, and you can use this guide for future updates as well.